We are dispersed camping in our cargo trailer motorcycle hauler conversion. Chewbacca's here. Camp is set up. Right off the grill. It's so warm I had to take my hat and sweatshirt off. That is my tarp shelter. Pretty wet out here. The freaking wind blew out my jet boil. If I had to describe how I'm feeling in one word, that word would be wet. That was not my all time worst idea, but it's definitely on the list. Hello friends and welcome back to the dork side. I'm the dork in the road and today we are dispersed camping in our cargo trailer motorcycle hauler conversion next to the river with a special guest. Chewbacca's here. That's right. We're camping with my little buddy. I'm the dork of the road and I want to be your internet riding buddy so please consider subscribing. All right it is the first off-grid dispersed camping test of this trailer. It is November 8th so we are well into fall. As you can see, the leaves are on the ground all around us, and we are at a spot near House Rock Campground that I've always wanted to camp at, but it is literally taken all summer long. You cannot get it. It is a beautiful dispersed spot. The great fire pit right next to the river. So you can see why it's always taken, but it's not taken right now because as I mentioned, it's November and it's cold. Clear today, but it is gonna rain tomorrow and tomorrow night. And we're gonna do two nights up here, here at this spot next to the South San Am River. Chewbacca and I. We're gonna sleep in the trailer. Definitely gonna do some filming, maybe some riding with the DRZ. I haven't decided yet. We'll see how we feel tomorrow, but disperse camping, no cell phone service here. I'm gonna set up and have ourselves a great two night adventure. And I wanna thank you all for coming along with us. So I've already got the DRZ out of the trailer and now I've got an hour and a half of daylight left or so. And it's definitely gonna start raining overnight. So I'm gonna focus right now on getting my canopy up and maybe even rigging up my tarp just so there's some rain protection out here so that when I wake up tomorrow I don't have to do all that in the rain and so we have a place to put stuff out here in the night to keep it dryish. Nothing stays dry in the winter in the Pacific Northwest rainforest that we live in but it's gonna be a wet rainy couple days and I'm looking forward to weathering the storm literally in my trailer with my dog Chewbacca. Progress update. I just rigged up this tarp and look right on the edge of the fire. I've just been in a hurry because we're losing daylight so I'm gonna be light for like another 40 minutes. So I got everything ready to start a fire, got everything out of the back of the truck, and got the tarp up. And now I'm going to try to rig up my bed, get that all set up, and then figure out how I'm going to cook dinner, where I'm going to put my grill and stuff. But I just want to check in and show you guys where I am. Again, I'm rushing. Don't worry, this is a two-day trip. I'm going to show you guys everything tomorrow, but just in terms of where I'm at right now, this evening, that's where I am. So now to get my bed set up. Camp is set up. Man, I got that truck in the exact right spot. I love that that tarp is on the edge of the fire without being over it. That'll be great tomorrow when it's raining. I'm gonna grill some chicken, and while it's grilling, I'm gonna get the fire going. It is 4.39, so it's gonna be dark really soon. Like, the sun is basically down in 10 minutes. But now that camp is set up, it's time for a step two, because step one is complete, so spear 30. Forgot my plate. I knew it was gonna be something. Uh, so tonight I will dine chicken a la fork. These are gonna take a while. They're massive. Well, these are mostly done. They've been on for a while, so. But like I said, I didn't bring a plate, so I'm just gonna eat it right here. Right off the grill. Why not? Who needs a plate when you have a grill? Look at that. Barbecue chicken, steaming, because it's cold. I gotta give Chewy a piece. 
Oh yeah, he's all over that. Mmm, that's good dinner. Anyway, that's dinner. It is 5.37, dark as hell as you can see. It's actually the second day of daylight savings time, so it should still be light right now, but. But I have a beer, dinner's done. There's a fire going. I think it's Mr. Puff Puff time. So let's have ourselves a Mr. Puff Puff. Chewbacca, do not get all tangled up in that, bro. You bring that pole down, you're gonna sleep outside. This dog, all he does is tangle himself up in everything. He's too stupid to not be tied up. So I just can't win. Chewy. Anyway, this is Cinco Vegas. This dog ate like a king. He got pieces of chicken, and he's still wandering around looking for more food. But, all in all, got the spot I wanted. I'm really happy with this. I think it's gonna work very well, and the location is perfect. I had to move the truck a couple times, but totally worth it. We'll see you tomorrow when it's raining. So, we're out here doing a few things. Um, one, kind of dry running the, not really dry running, I'm actually wet running the camper, because I wanna try it in the rain. In the winter, I just did the insulation in the ceiling, and I got a Mr. Buddy heater in there. So my plan is to kind of heat it up before bed and turn it off. I'm not gonna sleep with it on. And yes, there's a carbon monoxide detector in there. And yes, I have a roof vent, which I will open, but I'm betting that'll hold in some heat pretty well. I think while I'm out here, I'm gonna film a trailer mods video for you. sort of an overview of where it's at right now. And uh, I'm gonna film some videos for Giant Loop. So I'm gonna shoot a few product videos. That's why I brought the DRZ. So that's why I said, I'm not sure if I'm gonna ride tomorrow. I'm definitely going to shoot some product videos. I'd like to go out and ride too, but it's just going to depend on timing and weather. It's going to be shower. It's like 50, 60% rain tomorrow. So I got to find a window to shoot video so my camera doesn't get wet. But all in all, pretty productive trip because I'll be out here for two nights. I'll have this camping video that you're watching right now. I'll have the trailer walkthrough video and I'm hoping four videos for Giant Loop, which you'll see later. Look out for those on the Giant Loop channel. Give it a subscribe if you haven't because that helps me pay the bills and I appreciate you. I'm just gonna sit here by the fire, enjoy my Mr. Puff Puff, a couple beers, and then I'm gonna move stuff around a little bit to get it situated, and I'll probably move in the trailer and hang out in there for a while. Because it's early, so I'll hang out for a bit. It's not super cold yet, the fire's really helping, but I'm not gonna stay out here all night, I know that. So I'll check in with you in a bit. It's about 7 p.m., so it's not quite bedtime, but it's a little chilly and Honestly boring out there, so I let the fire burn down. I drank my last beer, finished my Mr. Puff Puff, so we're gonna hang out in the trailer for a bit because part of what we're testing is can it get warm and stay warm? So um, got the carbon monoxide alarm, got the roof vent open, so we're gonna use this little buddy heater, the portable buddy that I bought for the purpose of heating this trailer. And no, I don't plan on using it while I'm asleep, but I'm gonna heat it up in here and then I wanna see how long it stays warm as a test. Okay, you just hold it down. For 30 seconds, it says. Let it warm up a little. Sorry, the dog will not stop moving around. I'm supposed to put it on high until it glows red. That'll be a fun test, so we'll let that heat it up in here for a bit. Seriously, I had this thing running for five minutes, maybe. It's so warm, I had to take my hat and sweatshirt off. It heats this little trailer up fast. So far, so good. These single huge raindrops are really loud. I was hoping the insulation would cut down on that noise. It's not. It's about nine. Been reading for a while. I actually did get some carbon monoxide to show up on the carbon monoxide detector. So sitting in here with the heater on for long periods of time is probably not a great idea. Or I need to open the vent wider. But anyway, I turned it off. We're fine. The alarm didn't go off, but it definitely was registering some. So there is a little buildup. A little early to go to sleep, but I'm bored and tired. And I'm going to go to sleep. I'll get up early and have a great day tomorrow in the light because it's been dark for four hours at this point. Hope you're enjoying the video. Tomorrow we'll have a lot more stuff going on than today did, but Chewbacca is inside my sleeping bag because that's how he rolls. I'll catch up with you in the morning. Good night, y'all. Well, it's about 6.30 in the morning when I came out to pee. I wanted you guys to see this. Can't really see it, can you? That is my tarp shelter. Uh, I lost my pole. I don't know if it blew over. Definitely had a lot of water on it in the night. But look, the whole campsite is flooded. This is not good. I knew it was gonna be wet, but this is wetter than I was anticipating. It definitely got windy last night. Forecast did say gusts up to 30 miles an hour. I think we must have gotten them. 
Anyway, I'm gonna try to put this back up. Look at that. Steak came out of the ground. back up for now. Uh, it's pretty wet out here. I was prepared for the rain. I knew that was gonna happen. That was in the forecast, but I was not prepared for this wind. The wind is it tore my shelter down and it's blown the rain. Look at that. It's blown the rain up under my trailer where I was trying to keep the firewood dry. And the other interesting development is this puddle, which is actually under my tarp in my campsite. So if it's like this, I'm definitely not gonna be able to do any filming. I don't know, I'm not optimistic. The wind is really, making things a lot worse. I, I could sit out in just a drizzly rain all day under my tarp, but the wind blowing it everywhere makes it a lot more miserable. I'm gonna put my contacts in to make some coffee, I think. Freaking wind blew out my jet boil. Status update, I'm soaked. If I had to describe how I'm feeling in one word, that word would be wet. The wind is blowing water everywhere. The table's soaked. My chair is solidly in the middle and it's very wet. If I'm being honest, what I'm thinking about right now is whether or not I want to sit out here all day and then all night and then do this again tomorrow. Because I could go in the trailer and play Switch and read all day, but I could do that at home and not get everything wet. I'm at least toying with the idea of packing up and getting out of here. I don't know. Again, I don't mind just like sitting in the rain. Under the tarp, you know, I had this romantic idea, romantic, idealistic, naive, call it what you will, that I would get that fire going and sit here under the edge of the tarp. It'd be dry and warm and it would be neat. But the wind, this is a 10 by 10 tarp and the wind is just blowing water everywhere underneath it. There is nowhere that is dry except in the trailer. I mean, look at my, look how wet my coat is. I've been out here like 15 minutes. I also think the river's too loud to film the videos I wanted to film. And it doesn't matter because I can't film them in the rain anyway because I can't bring my good camera out in the rain. I could probably set it up under this tarp, but then the noise of the rain hitting this would be too loud. So maybe this isn't a filming trip. Maybe it's just a camping trip. I mean, I got this video. But you guys heard me last night, very optimistic and I think I'm naive. I haven't winter camped much, but I have ridden out in this crap a lot. I know how pervasive and wet it is. But all the wood I put under the trailer, can you see that? All this wood, it's all soaked. I mean, it's gorgeous out here. Like it's great to be out here kind of in it. I mean, it's beautiful in its own way, but I don't know. If it does this all day, there is no point to staying here in this. Yeah, it's camping if I sit in the trailer all day but is it? Chewbacca will not come out of this. He is 
And it wouldn't be fair to him because I got there's nowhere dry for him to sit or lay down. He's got to stay in the trailer. Poor dog. So yeah, that's where we're at. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention because I pulled a weather forecast from my inReach. It's actually going to get colder today. Like it's going to be getting colder than it was overnight. With the wind chill, it's supposed to be like 34, which is too cold to sit out here without a fire. So I'll end up huddling in there with the freaking heater on. But yeah, this is uh, this is borderline miserable. I don't have waterproof shoes because I'm an idiot and didn't grab them. I have my riding boots, which is what I thought I would just wear. I may have to put on, to be honest. They're waterproof. What would you guys do? Would you stick it out out here in the rain? Be wet and miserable for no reason for a day, or would you pack it up? I'm gonna get very wet when I'm packing up, but there's there'll be an end in sight if I pack up. Well, let me know in the comments. What would you do? Can't even have a fire. Some of you hunters that camp in this crap to go hunting, you're hardcore. I'm impressed with you. That's where we're at. So I'm gonna finish my coffee and contemplate my choices. Both the choices that I need to make today and the choices that led me here may have been less than wise. Well, I think I'm calling it. Um, there's an ever-expanding lake here in my campsite right next to the fire pit. I won't be able to even walk around under this tarp without getting my feet wet pretty soon. So if the choice is go sit in the trailer all day, with the limited entertainment options I brought, or go home and actually accomplish something, even though I have to pack up in the rain, but I'll have to pack up in the rain tomorrow anyway, I think I might head home. Try to get some footage of just how wet it is. And the wind, really it's the wind. So call me a quitter. Tell me you'd stay in the comments. I wanted to give this a try. I wanted to proof of concept it. I wanted to stay in crappy weather in the trailer. I've proven that works at least, but I'm not prepared for the hanging around outside. And it's not an RV, so there's not like a TV and stuff in there. And like a bed and you know, it's just not the same as rainy camping. It's, it's like tent camping in the rain with a really nice tent, basically. So I was naive or, I don't know. I think I needed to come out and experience it for good or for ill, just to see what I need and what I don't need. Cause I really want to find ways to keep camping in the winter. I don't want to stop camping. It may not be motorcycle camping. I don't know. My plan really is to do what I was going to do here, which is go camp out of the trailer and then ride nearby in the crappy weather. But if I get soaked out here, Right now, I will not get dry. And I don't feel like I can leave the campsite with knowing that my tarp is blown down once already. And I don't know. So it's wet, it's cold, it's miserable. It's gonna take me a freaking hour to pack up and I'm gonna have to take this tarp down and just get soaked while I do it. So, sorry guys, I failed you. This has been a miserable, interesting experiment. Like many of my videos, miserable, interesting failures. And my coffee wasn't even that good. So all in all, sucks. All right. I'm gonna figure out what the hell I'm gonna do now. That was not my all-time worst idea, but it's definitely on the list. Um, I'm soaked through. Socks, shirt is kind of dry, but just because I had two layers on top of it, my pants are soaked, my feet are soaked, so. I think getting out of here was the right call because it's gonna be the same packing up tomorrow in this. So back to the drawing board in terms of winter camping, we'll figure it out. But I did come out and camp overnight in the rain. That's done. I got to enjoy some beautiful stormy weather and I get to enjoy a beautiful stormy drive home. So all in all, things could be a lot worse. Unpacking is gonna be fun. I just, you know, when it's like wet and you're in a hurry, I just threw everything in. Like it is in no way organized in here. So unpacking is gonna be a chore. And I got a lot of water in my trailer and I've been trying really hard to keep water out of it because once it's sealed up, the water just stays in there. So I'm gonna have to hope for a not rainy day when I can air it out sometime soon, but there's nothing in the forecast. So I wanna give a shout out and thank you to my channel members and patrons who make content like this possible. Thanks for financing this disaster. 
Channel members and patrons get early access to videos, merchandise discounts and other perks, and there's a join button right below the video or a link to Patreon if you prefer that. If you want to support the channel without committing to a monthly fee, you can use my affiliate links to Amazon, Revzilla, Moto Camp Nerd, or Rocky Mountain ATV to buy stuff that you're going to be buying anyway. I get a small commission, you get your thing, it costs you nothing extra, everybody wins. I also have all my merchandise on Teespring, so if you want a technical shirt or a dork in the road shirt, that supports me too. So thanks, thanks you guys for all your support. Sincerely thank you to everyone who's used those links, join Patreon, become a channel member, or, uh, or bought merchandise. It's pretty awesome, but I'm going to go home, take a shower, dry off, and figure out how to unload. Look at this weather still. Can you see that? Probably can't see the drops, but it is coming down, dude. Thank you all for coming along. I appreciate you. And please do not forget to be excellent to each other. I thank you.